All right, hold on to your hats because the Expendables 4 ending is a total roller coaster. We're talking death reversals, a jaw-dropping surprise villain reveal, and a whole lot more, all setting the stage for the future of the franchise. Now this fourth installment shifts the spotlight over to Jason Statham's Lee Christmas, with Sylvester Stallone's Barney Ross taking on an unexpected role. The plot is all about the Expendables going head-to-head -head with Ramat, played by Iko Uwais, to stop a nuclear bomb from blowing up and sparking World War III. The motivation? Well, Ramat goes ahead and kills Barney Ross right at the start of the movie's mission, leaving Christmas kicked off the team. The whole shebang plays out on an aircraft carrier with a nuke on board, and Gina, played by Megan Fox, is leading the Expendables on this mission. But things go south, and they end up as prisoners, waiting for Christmas to come to the rescue. Oh, and there's this mysterious villain, Ocelot, who Barney tried to unmask 25 years ago. Here's the kicker. The Expendables 4 wraps it all up in a neat package, spilling the beans on Barney's supposed death, revealing Ocelot's true identity, laying out the villain's grand plan, and more. It's like they tied up all the loose ends while leaving the door wide open for the franchise's future. An action-packed closure with a tease of what's next. Barney Ross faked his death. Okay, so here's the big twist in The Expendables 4. We find out that Barney Ross, played by Sylvester Stallone, didn't really meet his end as the movie made us believe. Now, it's totally fair for the audience to be a bit skeptical because his supposed death happens pretty early on, and the evidence seems rock solid. I mean, their team plane crashes, no signs of Barney escaping, and they even show a burnt body in the cockpit wearing his iconic ring. It's like they really wanted us to think he was a goner. But guess what? Barney makes a triumphant return to save the day. He takes down Ocelot and rescues Christmas from certain doom. Now you might be wondering, how on earth did he fake his own death? Well, that's the genius part. Barney spills the beans to Christmas in the final moments of the movie. He reveals that the body we saw, the one pretending to be him, was actually Jumbo Shrimp. You know, the guy who won Barney's ring in that thumb wrestling contest at the bar earlier in the film. Barney basically abducts him, dresses him up like an expendable, and tosses him on the plane. When Jumbo Shrimp wakes up on the plane wearing the ring and all, it's about to crash. Meanwhile, Barney parachutes out of there and goes off the grid to make sure everyone buys the whole Barney's dead story. Crafty move, right? All about Ocelot. Okay, so in the grand finale of The Expendables 4, we finally uncover the big mystery behind Ocelot's true identity. Brace yourselves, because it's a shocker. Ocelot turns out to be none other than Marsh, the CIA agent who used to work alongside Barney years back. And here's the twist. He's been the villain all along. You see, Barney and Marsh collaborated on a mission 25 years ago that was supposed to expose Ocelot's identity. But it ended up with everyone from Barney's team biting the dust. Marsh posing as Ocelot, hires the Expendables for the final mission to take down Ramat. But it's not because he's a good guy. He's actually framing them to kickstart World War III. So what's Marsh's deal? Well, he's convinced that World War III is bound to happen sooner or later, and he knows someone's gonna profit big time from it. That's why he's all gung-ho about setting off that nuclear bomb in Russia and making it look like America's fault. Sneaky, right? But here's the kicker. Marsh resurfaces as Ocelot after Barney's death, because it opens up a file with info about the only guy who knew Ocelot's real identity. Marsh poses as Ramat's hostage, breaks him out of CIA custody, and does away with him, hoping to keep his villainous alter ego hidden forever. It would have worked too if Barney hadn't pulled that fake death trick. Why didn't Lee Christmas get off the aircraft carrier? All right, here's a jaw-dropping moment in The Expendables 4. Just when you think things can't get crazier, Lee Christmas, played by Jason Statham, pulls a surprising move. So the Expendables team is all set to make their escape from the aircraft carrier, and Christmas is supposed to be the last one to head to safety on Decha's boat. But guess what he does? He cuts the line. Like, major self-sacrifice mode. Christmas decides to stay behind on the carrier because he wants to turn it around before it reaches Russia, and you guessed it, it goes kaboom. He's ready to make the ultimate sacrifice, just like he believes Barney did at the start of the movie. It's like he's willing to give it all to save the day. But wait for it. Barney swoops in to rescue Christmas just in the nick of time. It's a real nail-biter, folks. Is Ramat dead? Now here's a little mystery. The Expendables 4 leaves us pondering. What on earth happened to Ramat, the villain played by Iko Uwais? He took quite a beating in a showdown with Lee Christmas towards the end of the movie. It looked like he was done for, seriously wounded and all. But then, out of the blue, 
Ramat makes a sneaky escape. Christmas kind of let his guard down for a moment to deal with Gina, and poof, Ramat's gone. The movie doesn't exactly spell out how he pulled it off, which leaves us with some questions. Here's the thing, though. The only way off the aircraft carrier was on Decca's boat, and Barney sank that boat while preventing the nuclear bomb from going off. So you'd think Ramat's fate is pretty sealed, unless they decide to pull off a surprise twist in The Expendables 5. Who knew about Barney's plan? Oh boy, The Expendables 4 really keeps us on our toes with all those twists and turns. But when it comes to the ultimate plan, things get a bit foggy in terms of who was in the know. We do know that Gina was on to Christmas with that tracker and his knife, and she was totally prepared for his arrival. But here's where it gets murky. It's not entirely clear if anyone else had the inside scoop on Barney's scheme to fake his own death. Lee Christmas and Marsh seem to be in the dark, and it's safe to say Toll Road, Gunner, and the gang were too. Now, could Gina have been in on Barney's plan? It's a possibility, especially since she had a close working relationship with him leading up to the whole shebang. But honestly, this is one of those movie mysteries that might keep us guessing for a while. Does this movie set up the next part? So, The Expendables 4 doesn't exactly drop a direct setup for a fifth installment, but it's like they leave the door wide open for more action-packed adventures. The movie wraps up with the team back at the bar, celebrating the fact that Barney is alive and kicking, and Gina and Christmas's love story gets a thumbs up. Now, what this means is that as long as Stallone and or Statham's characters are in the mix, more movies are definitely a possibility, depending on how well The Expendables 4 does at the box office. And hey, Megan Fox's Gina could return for a potential female Expendables spin-off if that's something they're interested in. As for the team lineup, it looks pretty solid already if they decide to roll with the Expendables 5. Barney could step into an even bigger leadership role, and Christmas could take charge when he's away. Then there's Toll Road and Gunner, still ready to kick some butt, along with newer members like Easy Day, Galen, and Lash. Plus, there's room for Decha to jump back on board. And hey, the beauty of it is, The Expendables 4's ending doesn't stop new characters from joining or old favorites from making a comeback. So, the possibilities are wide open for some more high-octane action. That brings us to the end of today's video. What did you think about this movie? Do let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, then please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.